on. Let's talk about quantum computing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a lot of hype around how much more powerful they are than standard supercomputers. Yeah, it's not hype. It's real, but uh, yeah. But what kind of complex calculations could they be used for that we're not even thinking of right now? Yeah. So uh, anytime, so just uh, as a sample from my field, yeah. in my lifetime, computing power has grown exponentially. Yeah. And... But in the early, and especially probably for cosmology and oh, astrophysics, all, all the above. Yeah. right? So if I want to simulate what the stars in a galaxy are doing, just think about this: yeah. galaxy has a hundred billion stars in it, and they're all sort of in orbit around the center of the galaxy. How do I know what path they're going to take? Well, they're going to respond to the gravity of every other star, but every other star is also in motion. Yeah. So every star is in motion at all times, and I want to calculate what the net force is on any one star, yeah. and then move it yeah. in the direction that those forces indicate. Yeah. But I have to calculate that for 100 billion stars right. at all times. Right. Okay. 